waiting on our Iceland documentary to get edited and come out and, and finished. We wanted to release our latest video, which is Clusters, which is this snare drum solo with tape track that's kind of based on this 80s exercise video vibe. Constantine wrote the music. We all flew to Austin, Texas so that Marcus could actually shoot the video. Uh, Chris was the one who did the arranging and did all the stick tricks and kind of figured everything out and obviously was the performer in the video. And then I did the actual edit itself, the cutting together. So it really worked nicely to have kind of all four of our best skill sets kind of combined in this one. Hello YouTube, taking this from a beach. How did Clusters start? Two or so years ago, it's been a while. This has been a long project in the works. Constantine reached out to me. Uh, I was really wanting to write Chris a snare solo. I asked Chris, hey man, what are you into right now? Told him, you know, well, in my free time, I'm really doing a lot of CrossFit. And I mentioned the similarities between CrossFit and drumming. A lot of different movements that require a lot of different techniques. We kind of related the idea of like, a movement you would do in CrossFit equaling a rudiment that you would do in drumming. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Can you come up with like a rudiment? That's like a hybrid rudiment. And I thought about it and I was like, I think I could come up with a hybrid rudiment, which is like a combination of a rudiment with some additional things. And he goes, could you relate that to a movement in CrossFit? There are a couple of moves that we do that combine two separate movements. And one of them is where you combine a clean and a thruster and you call it a cluster. And then he's like, now you just need to create a rudiment. Adding some flams to hurt us. And we created a cluster. And from there, he sent me the audio files that sounded like an 80s workout track. One of my constraints was to use the Ableton sound library. So yeah, I just kind of started using all these MIDI sounds and it started to sound pretty 80s, like just tons of different synth textures and layers. And this is kind of like the opening theme that started the piece. One, two, one, go, 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 go. and I would tweak the stickings or there were some instances where I'm like, I can add in a stick toss here. I can add in some movements here. Let's make it a workout video. Listeners and viewers could like play along to it if they wanted. So this is what it sounds like all together. of an 80s montage kind of workout feel to it. And because it was so much based on this like exercise, this kind of CrossFit compound movement that we were doing, really wanted to try to incorporate the video to have it feel like it was from that time period. Just wanted to have that kind of nostalgic feel to it because the, the sounds and the synths that we had gave it that vibe. So as we're trying to tell this kind of like a little bit silly story about, you know, the, the learning how to do a cluster, uh, that was kind of what drove all that. It turned out pretty cool. The boys are coming over and I need to clean all of this up. We're shooting clusters here in Austin, Texas, which is nice because normally I'm the one who has to travel everywhere else. Um, but this time the boys are coming to me and we're making it happen. This project is so long in the making that I have actually already recorded my part for this, the voiceover. Welcome to Apex Gymnasium, where we don't skip leg day. And I can't even remember what I said. We were listening to, the, to it the other day as a group. It's been so long since I've recorded those that it truly feels like a different person. Anyway, we're shooting this in Austin, Texas. There's a gym here in town. But the thing that I'm most excited about is getting a chance to use a new lens. This is the Helios 44-2. It's like a 58 millimeter lens, um, but it's a vintage lens. Oh, look how tiny it is. Look how tiny that guy is. It has a very vintage characteristics. It's gonna be my first time using this lens on any type of like actual production. They use this lens on the new Batman with, uh, with Edward from Twilight or Robert Pattinson as some of us call him. Fun fact, it is the most widely produced lens in all of Russia. I got this one for $150 off Etsy and I ordered it from someone in Ukraine. So pretty stoked to try this thing out on a real set and uh, let's see how it looks. Hello, is this thing on? Is this? Here we go. Check, check, Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Welcome to Apex Gymnasium where the beats are hot and so are you. Now before we get started, I want to make sure that everybody brought protection. Hearing protection, that is. Come on guys, drums are loud. Chris will be your instructor today and we're focusing on clusters. Chris, show us what we're getting into here. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. So like a uh, Herta with some flams. Nice. 
Okay, well please come to the front desk if you have any questions, concerns, or break a stick, and we'll get you fixed right up. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start this three minute chop out. Take it away, Chris. Three, two, two one, two, one, go, one, go, one, go, go, go. Welcome to Apex Gymnasium, where the weights drop, the squad has chops, and the music won't stop. Where you are the heartbeat of this band. Where if you can't run a marathon with the snare drum on, you're still welcome here because only crazy people even attempt it. Where you'll learn to do the splits, and then you'll learn to do the splits. All right. The only place you'll hear diddles and dumbbells in the same sentence. The only place where your forearms sweat before your armpits. I can't whistle. I wish I could whistle.